Good morning. It's Thursday, August 6th. And I have always felt that one of the biggest problems in this country is campaign funding. The way we fund campaigns is ridiculous. We spend millions and billions of dollars on campaign funding. And all that does is line the pockets of the congressmen and the senators and the president and everybody else. And that money puts our politicians in a difficult situation. Because how do you tell a big donor no if you want to get reelected and you need that money? Because we have ridiculous campaign funding rules. So just to make sure everybody understands, I'm against all of our ridiculous campaign funding rules. I'm against that Supreme Court decision that decided corporations are individuals and they can give as much money as they want. So I'm against the way we do it. But that's not why I'm ranting this morning. I'm ranting this morning because Nancy Pelosi funneled $14,000 of her own money, her and her husband's money, to the campaign of Elon Omar. Pelosi gave that money to Omar because she's way behind in campaign fundraising behind her opponent. Given their history, I don't know why Pelosi's trying to prop up Omar. Her opponent is an attorney whose name is Anton Melton Wow. In any event, Anton has raised more money than Omar. And so Nancy is trying to help her get reelected. And I don't know why anybody would try to help an anti-Semitic person to get reelected. This is a woman who has defamed the Jews and defamed other races several times and was and she was censured. Most of you will remember her quote, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. And she was the cause of writing an anti-hate resolution. So why would Nancy Pelosi give her $14,000? It's a mystery to me why Pelosi would want to bail out this freshman congressman who once attacked her leadership. Is she trying to buy her loyalty? I I don't think so. There's got to be some other reason I do not fathom what's really going on here. But I do understand numbers. And in this campaign that Omar is fighting for her life with, Melton Moo has spent more than $1.7 million over the first three weeks of July compared to Omar's piddling $784,000. And here's a kicker. Of the $784,000 that Omar spent on the campaign, $600,000 of it went to her husband's consulting firm. So is that kosher? I get money from people, I'm supposed to be running a campaign, and I give it to my husband to manage the campaign for me? That sucks. That's not the way things are supposed to work. Okay, if a husband is the best person for the job, that's a wonderful thing. Let him work for nothing. It's a shame. So that's not kosher, and it's beyond me why Pelosi wants to support this woman, because this woman attacked Pelosi in the very beginning of her career in Congress. And then she attacked Jews and other minorities. And Pelosi criticized Omar for using deeply offensive anti-Semitic tropes in February 2019 and condemned the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against Israel, which Omar supports with her whole heart and soul. And then Omar attacked Nancy Pelosi and said, a condemnation for people that want to exercise their First Amendment rights is beneath any leader. Well, in my mind, there's a limit to what the First Amendment rights allow you to do. And hate speech is not allowed. And Milton Moo is against BDS. He's against the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. So, Why is Pelosi supporting Omar when on a major point she is at ads with Pelosi? Pelosi should be supporting Milton Moon. 
And I'll tell you something else. Melton Liu has gotten more money from Omar's congressional district than she did. He got twice the donation amounts from her congressional district that she did. So it's beyond me why Nancy Pelosi sticks her neck out with this young anti-Semite. I don't know how young she is either. Anyhow, I'm hoping that Melton Moo wins the election. And I'm hoping at some point in time, we see a major change to campaign funding the way it operates right now. Because it's ridiculous that money owns our government. And maybe that's one of the reasons why nothing is really getting done anywhere. So that's all I'll say for now. I Hopefully, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.